Well, welcome, welcome to another lesson of the Content Modeling uh, Weekly Course. This is the first lesson of 2022 for the Content Modeling Weekly. Happy New Year to all of you watching live. I'm glad to be back. Took a little bit of time to get back to 100%. I don't know about you, but man, after the holidays, you just want to continue staying on those holidays. But, you know, real life, we got to we gotta do this stuff. So, and I'm excited. Got a whole bunch of stuff coming up for um, all of you. As uh, you know me, I'm Marcelo Lewin, Headless Creator. As always, right there, get a hold of me, Marcelo, at headlesscreator.com. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to model a grid layout system for your website that you can use in any headless CMS. This is part one. Uh, part two, which will be next week, we're going to take what we've created today and we're going to implement it in a couple of different headless CMSs so you get to see how to implement this content model in uh, various ways. So, uh, but before we get started, you know how this works because you've been here before. I'm going to tell you real quick about headlesscreator.com. Go get your free account. Uh, you know how it goes. Um, after this live stream is over, it becomes on demand and it will be available on the Content Modeling Weekly course. And there's a lot of stuff there on that course. You have, this is lesson 46. Got many more planned for you coming on and you have access to all of the lessons on demand. You also have access to the Miro boards, which you, we work on together. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff you have access to. So get your free account. Um, on top of that, you're gonna have access to basically all the other uh, courses, including the Discover Headless Tech course, all the Focus On courses. Uh, the personalization bootcamp. We're about to launch a uh, composable DXP bootcamp. I've got more focus on courses coming on. I mean, tons of stuff. Get your free account. Uh, it won't hurt you. It'll only help you for 2022 so you can get stronger at headless uh, in general. All right, that's it. Uh, I'm done doing my marketing because, you know, I got to tell you a little bit about it. So what I'm going to do right now, you know how this works. For the on-demand version, uh, which you will get right after this is done, uh, there is absolutely no marketing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the intro and I will see you in just 10 seconds. Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another lesson of the Content Modeling Weekly course. I am Marcelo Lewin, the Headless Creator. As always, get a hold of me right there, Marcelo at headlesscreator.com. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to model a grid layout system so your authors can create pages with various grids uh, in them and then use this in any headless CMS. It's going to be pretty headless CMS agnostic. Uh, so let's, let's just jump right in. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to show my screen here. Uh, the agenda is basically we're going to go through my site to show you what is a grid, why, how does it look like in a web page? Because web pages may look complicated from a design point of view, but at the end of the day, they're using grids and they're using some sort of columns. Uh, you'll see in just a second. Um, so we'll do that. Then we're going to talk about the different kinds of uh, grids, columns that uh, we should model. Then we're going to jump in um, after we talk a little about components versus content types. Very important. We're going to jump in and we're going to model it in Miro. That's where we're going to end it today. Uh, for the next lesson, part two, we're going to take that model and we're going to implement it in a couple of headless CMSs. I'm going to try to see if we could do two, maybe three. Uh, so you see a variety of how it's implemented. All right. So let's do a quick analysis of my website here. Um, it looks pretty complicated. There's a lot of stuff going on here, right? But if you really think about it, at the end of the day, we have right here, and I think this does come through. Uh, okay, it doesn't come through the grid thing, but that's okay. We, you see right here, we have a, um, a grid, a grid made out of two columns. It's a two column grid, right? Column one is the, the left side here. Column two is that right there. So as we move down, this is row. As we move out, here's another grid, another row that is made up of uh, a one column grid that has the meet the lesson presenter. But in there, we have another grid in that column. We have a grid made up of two columns. It's a two column grid that has on the left a picture and on the right some content. As we move down the ladder here, or the web page, not the ladder, but down the web page, 
uh, we see again another uh, one column grid that has a text with a two column grid inside of it. On the left, we have an image and on the right, you get the point here, right? Here, um, we have a three column grid, one column, the second column, and the third column with content in it. It's pretty much that simple, right? So if we look at, let's look at, um, uh, what can we look at? Let's look at presenters. This is really, um, you can look at it in a couple of ways. This could be a row with three columns, or this could be a one, one grid with basically uh, just bo presenter boxes that you can render, right? Alphabetize. It depends how you want to do that, but there's a variety of ways of doing that. But basically, at the end of the day, you can look at any website, break it down into a grid, and the grid is made up of columns. And that's it. Um, there are exceptions, don't get me wrong. There are, I know I could hear you already telling me, but my website is super, super complicated. And that's really, I, I get it. But in general, I would say 90% of the time to 95% of the time, this is how it works. So with that said, we're gonna model now um, a grid layout system. So let's start with, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep this here. And we're gonna call this one, let's see if we can go larger there, there we go. We're gonna call this one grid components. And let's bring in, I'm gonna bring in some images here to help us define grids. So we'll put in this, alrighty, let's make this larger. And you will have access to in the, in the under the mural boards of this, uh, lesson, you'll find um, the, the mirror board there. But if you notice, we have, remember we spoke about rows, these are rows. We have a one column grid. We have a two column grid. And now what is the layout possibilities in a two column grid? Now, don't get me wrong. Yes, you can do 99% and 1%, but we're not doing that. We're going to have to do some sort of limiting, right? In general, it'll break down into, in a two column grid, you'll have 50-50 breakdown or 3366 or vice versa, or 2575 or vice versa. Beyond that, yes, you can really go crazy and say, hey, I want 18% and uh, what is that, 82% uh, if my math is correct. I get it, but we're not gonna do that in this content model because we need to put some sort of limits. Here's a three column grid that could be 33% even across, really one of them is 34%, but we're just making it three to 33%. It could be 25, 25, 50, or 50, 25, 25, 25, 50, 25. That takes care of that. And then if you go four columns, basically it's gonna be 25%. Because if you need four columns, but you want one of them to be 50% and the other two to be 25%, well, that's a three column. So basically, if you're going four columns, it's gonna be 25%. Again, I know you can say, I want this one 30% and I want this one 10%, you know, you break it down like that, but we're not doing that. You could do that in your content model and come up with some standards, but at the end of the day, you're gonna have some standards that you wanna follow, right? From a, from a marketing perspective, you're not just gonna create whatever you want, uh, hopefully. Okay, so if we have this, um, this is the type of grid layout system we're gonna build. Let's talk about content types versus components. Now I have an entire lesson on that, so make sure you watch it on the Content Modeling Weekly course. I have I talk about the differences between content types and, and, and components. But at the end of the day, components are structures that um, hold field structures, and there's no single source of truth in that. And that is perfect for throwaway content. In this case, when we create grid layouts, we wanna use components because we're not gonna create a grid layout that we're gonna reuse in a million different places. We're just gonna create one constantly whenever we add it to a page. So I'm gonna create components here. And again, go into, um, go into lesson one and watch the components versus content types. But components hold structure and content types hold actual data. Now use components inside of a content type. And I'll show you that in just a minute. So how do we do this? Well, let's start with uh, column one. So if we're gonna create a component to hold column one, then let's create a component. And my standard for components are usually make them red, but I'm gonna call it grid one column. And I'm gonna make this larger in just a minute. Okay. 
So let's make this red. Yep, there we go. And I think you should be able to see that. Yeah, you can see that without a problem. Okay, so we're gonna have a component that holds a, a one column grid. Now I'm gonna take go to the next one and I'm gonna say I have, whoop, I hit the wrong one. I'm gonna make another component that's gonna be a two column grid. We're gonna fill this out in just a minute, so don't worry. Then I'm gonna take the next because we know we're gonna have four components, one for each type. Three column grid. So when a user wants to add a grid component to a web page, they're gonna select grid, three column, grid, two column, right? Like that. And then we're gonna have another one here. Car called four. Four column. Okay, great. So let's start with the three column one first. And let's see what happened there. Whoop. I think I did that. Okay, perfect. So here are our grid components. We have one, two, three, and four column. Oh, I think I just moved that by mistake. No problem, we fixed it. There we go. Let's do that. All right, so now it's nice. Okay, so we have a grid components. Now let's talk about, we're gonna fill it out, don't worry. We're gonna add the fields and all that kind of stuff. But now let's talk about a page. So if we go back to this page here, we have a page here. This page is called the, uh, it's a landing page for content modeling for this 